Greetings to all Chelsea in North Wales here. My next build is the Suhoi Su-26. It's a small aerobatics aircraft from the Suhoi stable. I decided to go for this after the, um, the large TU-128 build and fancied something simpler. I love the idea of aircraft who, that are built purely for the purpose of flying. It's, there's a sense of purity to it. And this seemed like a fat, lovely little subject. Now, the details and the history of the FSU-26 can be seen in this section. And this part, if you look down below, is repeated there. What was particularly interesting was that I was able to find the details of the exact aircraft I built. And it's part of the uh, Repsol, uh, Bravo 3 Repsol aerobatics team flying out of Spain. Um, the uh, photograph you're seeing next shows the aircraft, the actual aircraft that the uh, kit represents. So that was a nice little find, and nice to be able to bring the two together like that. The kit itself is from a model, and I bought it, I think it's Telford a few years back. Uh, sent me back about five, six pounds, so in my mind it's a uh, pretty good value. As I said, uh, on the box, <laughs> It um, should read that it is an SU-26, but just calls it a Russian aerobatic plane. Getting on to the uh, instructions. These are adequate for their task. A model can be a bit ropey, but it's a simple aircraft and these instructions are adequate. The kit, the sprues were pretty much flash free with soft panel, uh, recessed panel lines and um, a clear canopy, so nothing that would present any problems there. I started with the uh, cockpit, adding some a bit of details to the rather bare interior, as quite a lot would be visible under the canopy. An interesting feature I decided to have a go at was adding some um, cabling, the uh, control cables underneath. There's a large window and I felt they would be vid uh, visible so I just added them with strips of wire. Looking down into the cockpit, you can see it was the seat is sort of suspended uh, midway. Um, the seat belts are made from Tamiya tape. It goes together pretty well in all fairness. Nothing too challenging. For the filler, I decided to use um, Perfect uh, Deluxe Products uh, Putty. It was to minimise the amount of sanding I'd have to do in the damage. It's a waterable soluble uh, putty that you apply and just take off. I started off, because it's red, of going for a bright white undercoat to really show the red up. And uh, the primer also showed me where I'd need to do any rework with it on the filling and sanding. And as you can see, there wasn't too much to do, just something forward and aft of the cockpit. Again, using the Deluxe Products uh, filler. I decided to use painted in Tamiya X7 red, a nice bright colour, but it had to be built up in uh, a number of layers to give it some uh, effective depth. Once the spraying was done, I uh, masked off the leading edges on the wings and the tailplane and hand painted those black. You can see it's quite an attractive look, particularly when you peel off the uh, canopy masking. I expected quite a lot of headaches from these decals, but I was very pleasantly surprised. Um, the white was printed very opaque, there's very little camera um, carrier film showing, and they settled pretty well with the uh, micro set and micro sole. So, a nice turnout there. As you can see, a bit more uh, of the decals, they sit quite well, and um, they really bring, I think, a model of sports plane to life. So that's it, pretty much finished. Nothing too challenging there, a few headaches. I had some spots of bother with the uh, undercarriage, and the undercarriage legs that you see there aren't exactly the correct ones for this particular model. You can see it sits a little bit at an angle. What had happened when I was cutting them from the sprues, uh, I broke the first one, uh, patched it up, put the second one on, and uh, then managed to lose it, so it's not got quite the right pair of undercarriage struts. 
I think other challenges with this kit was I had my uh, the airbrush pumped out um, while I was applying the red. Started up again afterwards, but I ended up having to clean the airbrush down, um, or strip it down, clean it down. Um, it all got a little bit temperamental, but I think the uh, end result is worth the effort. You can see there the underside window. There is actually a little bit of masking tape trapped underneath it, which I was not too chuffed about. And a nice, uh, ends with a nice top view of the aircraft. Now I have to admit, if you've never done an A model kit before, I would thoroughly recommend this. This was a lovely build, a lovely kit that goes together. So if you fancy something a little bit more challenging, that's going to stretch your modeling skills, I'd suggest give this one a go. So thank you for watching. Happy modelling, God bless and take care. Johnson North Wales, signing out.